So you might be trying to figure out how you can hide your notch on your particular MacBook. Now, if you just bought the new M3 MacBook Airs, it's a very basic process and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and hop inside of your Safari browser, which is right up here, and you want to go and search up Top Notch Mac. So you can go and search for it right up there, just like how I did right up there. And what you want to do after is you want to just install this particular application. So click into this website, or you can go to topnotch.app. And all we're going to want to do is basically download this. So you can download it completely for free and you can click allow. And once it's downloaded, all you want to do is go in and open it up and just install it. So now you can drag and drop this inside of your applications. And you should be able to see this now inside of your applications panel at some point when it goes ahead and opens up. Now, whenever you're ready, you can double click on this particular application and you can just go and click open. And now what's going to happen is it's going to bring you a little top pop up like this. You want to click agree. And you want to move it to the applications folder. I guess I forgot to do that. But when it's done, you're pretty much almost good to go. At the very top right, you're going to get this new little pop-up that shows you this little like, hey, let's hide your notch. Tap onto this little pop-up right here and watch what happens. If we go and click on this toggle right here, what will know happening is, is we can tap on this and the notch will actually go kind of behind this particular MacBook. So it really is that basic and it really is that cool. So now you can go and kind of, you know, edit this further. So you can enable this on, you can enable this off. So it's going to revert back to your wallpaper. But if you add it on, what's going to happen is it, it's just going to go and basically just hide it like that, which is cool. Now you can also click on the settings here and you can kind of check for updates, visit website, do some other things. But usually once you enable it, it's pretty much good to go. And that's really all you're going to have to do. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.